Hi, I'm Rochelle and we are here at Shree Volkswagen. We are starting a new weekly series called Employees Getting to Know Employees. So I'm going to be asking Cindy 15 questions and we're going to get to know her. Alright, so first question. What is your name and what is your job title? Um, I'm Cindy Monismith and my job title is uh, Customer Care Manager, but it would be easier to tell you what I don't do around here. That would be <laughs> what it should be. <laughs> Alright. Do you like your job? Oh, I love my job. My job's lots of fun. <laughs> hey, where were you born and raised and tell us about it? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I was born in Kansas City, Kansas, and I was raised there until I was a freshman in high school. Tell us about it. Oh, what about it? Um, it was fun. Uh, my, my family is from the Midwest, from Kansas City, and lived there until I was a freshman in high school, and then I moved to a, another town in Kansas, and then moved here to Amarillo about seven years ago. Awesome. And we heard you love cats. How many do you have? <laughs> I do love cats. I have two cats is all I have. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not the cat lady yet. <laughs> oh, what hobby would you get into if time and money weren't an issue? What hobby? Mm -hmm. um, I'd go back into photography if I could. If time and money was not an issue, I'd go back into photography. Did you like doing photography? Loved it. Awesome. Loved it with a passion. What fictional place would you most like to go? Um, Alice in Wonderland's place. Hang out with your Cheshire cat. Yeah, hang out with my Cheshire <laughs> cat. <laughs> what job would you be terrible at? Waitressing. I would be terrible at waitressing. I, I couldn't remember orders. <laughs> you, can, you can barely remember what you did five minutes ago. Exactly, that's why I could not be over <laughs> All right, next question. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Oh Lord, um, we need the truth. <laughs> I think the other day when I counted, I have um, close to fifty. I have four pairs of shoes. <laughs> um, if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, what would you have a good chance at winning a medal at? Is this when the question goes? Any activity, gosh, Internal. talking, talking. Yes. <laughs> All right, what shows are you into? Um, I like the new one that's Stranger Things. Mm. That's, that's a good been show. A good, that's been a good it's show. Amazing. What skill <laughs> would you like to master? Learning a foreign language. All right, next one. What would be the most amazing adventure to go on? It would be fun to go to Africa and watch the wild cats in their habitat. <laughs> okay, next question, or last question. Are you usually early or late? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna need the honest truth here. <clears throat> the queen is never late. <laughs> Everyone's just early. <laughs> All right, thank you Cindy for joining us and stay tuned because we will have more adventures every week for you. Oh, but wait, we're not done. We're not? <laughs> I have a few questions of my own for you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what is your name and your position here at the store? <laughs> well, my name is Rochelle Dowdy, and I'm a receptionist. Who has impressed you the most with what they have accomplished? Um, I think I would have to say my husband, because he's gone to school for mortuary science, and he has gotten so far. In I'm pretty impressed with him going to school full time and working full time, and I give that to him. <laughs> That's good. Very good. <laughs> what age do you wish you could permanently be? Probably the age that I'm at now. I, I like my life right now. I think it's going pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would be your ideal way to spend the weekend? <clears throat> I'm probably just going out of town and having a nice evening somewhere, maybe going to Oklahoma City. Go gambling, go out to dinner, just get away from here for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, what is something that is considered a luxury but you don't think you could live without? Probably my cell phone. <laughs> yes. I am always on that thing. Like, it could get me in trouble. I'm always on it. <laughs> if you were to become famous, what would you be famous for? I honestly have no idea.
you're texting, yes. Being the famous texter, I text so much. What's something you like to do the old-fashioned way? Um, I would say on Christmas, it's more like a tradition, kind of, but I like to put my ornaments up that my grandma gave me growing up. That's and every single ornament is from every year. What's your favorite genre of a book or movie? Uh, my favorite movie is by Nicholas Spark, and it's called The Notebook. And I do like a lot of his books. So. That's a good one. How often do you people watch? Does that mean Facebook stock? <laughs> yes, it could be that too. Daily, more than <laughs> once. I like to creep on people. What's the best single day on the calendar? I don't think I just have one day. I mean, I think I'd have three. I have the day my daughter was born, the day my son was born, and the day I got married. So Good one. those are my three favorite. Good. Okay, last question. <clears throat> What's your dream car? <laughs> mm, my dream car. Okay, so my dream car is a yellow Mustang convertible, and it's not the newer ones, it's the older ones, like a 98. I do like those. Well, thank you, Rochelle. Thanks. <laughs> For joining us again. Right? Bye. All right, folks, stay tuned next week and see what we have in store for you. Have a nice day.